Hey there friends on YouTube. My name is Roger with Electronics and Gadgets. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. Hit the like and subscribe please. If you've been here before, thank you. For my next video, I'd like to talk about optimized battery charging on your Apple Watch. With optimized battery charging, your Apple Watch learns from your daily charging habits to improve the lifespan of your battery. And Apple Watch Ultra offers additional battery charge optimizations with optimized charge limit. Battery lifespan. A battery's lifespan is related to its chemical age, which is more than just the length of time since the battery was assembled. A battery's chemical age results from a complex combination of several factors, including temperature history and charging patterns. All rechargeable batteries are consumable components that become less effective as they chemically age. As lithium ion batteries chemically age, the amount of charge they hold diminishes, resulting in reduced battery life and reduced peak performance. How Apple's Optimized Battery Charging Works With watchOS 7 and later, your Apple Watch learns from your daily charging habits to improve the lifespan of your battery. This feature, called Optimized Battery Charging, is designed to reduce the wear on your battery and improve the lifespan by reducing the time your Apple Watch spends fully charged. Optimized Battery Charging is on by default when you set up your Apple Watch or after updating to watch, o watch OS number 7 or later. When the feature is turned on, your watch delays charging past 80% in certain situations. In these situations, the watch's battery level remains between 75 and 80%. Your watch uses on-device machine learning to learn your daily charging routine so that the optimized battery charging activates only when your watch predicts it will be connected to a charger for an extended period of time. The algorithm aims to ensure that your Apple Watch is still fully charged when you remove it from the charger. You can make your watch charge to full before it's scheduled to do as the following. Make sure that your Apple Watch is connected to its charger. Tap your watch to show the charging screen, then tap the circle with the green or yellow charging icon. Tap charge to full now. Your Apple Watch takes time to learn your charging patterns before it uses optimized battery charging. If your Apple Watch is new, or if you recently updated to watch OS 7 or later, the charging screen will say charging to full. If you want to turn off optimized battery charging, open the settings app on your Apple Watch, scroll down then tap battery, tap battery health, and turn off optimized battery charging. Turn, choose turn off until tomorrow or turn off. If you have an Apple Watch Ultra, optimized battery charging is always on. Optimized charge limit on the Apple Watch Ultra. In addition to optimized battery charging, Apple Watch Ultra offers optimized charge limit. This feature learns from your daily use to determine when to charge it to an optimized limit and when to allow a full charge. Optimized charge limit is on by default when you set up your Apple Watch Ultra. With optimized charge limit active, an open charge ring appears when you connect your Apple Watch Ultra to its charger. If you want to charge your watch beyond the optimized limit, follow these steps. Number one, make sure that your Apple Watch Ultra is connected to the charger. Number two, tap your watch to show the charging screen then tap the circle with the green or yellow charging icon. Number three, tap charge to full now. Optimize charge limit. 
changes dynamically depending on how you use your Apple Watch Ultra. Based on your usage patterns, your watch might charge to 100% on some days or less on others. Optimized battery charging activates only in certain locations. Optimized charging is designed to activate only in locations where you spend the most time, such as your home and place of work. This feature doesn't turn on when your usage habits are more variable, such as when you travel. Turning on these location settings in the Settings app on your Apple Watch will help optimize battery charging identify situations where it shouldn't be used. Privacy, Location Settings, Location Services, Privacy, Location Services, System Services, System Customization, Privacy, Location Services, System Services, Significant Locations, Significant Locations. So that's my video on optimized charge limit for the Apple Watch. I hope you found my video to be helpful. Thank you for being here. Please click like and subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment down below. And until next time, I'm out.